back one. What do you say? That's their logo. You may have a witness. Hello, my friends. I hope you're having a lovely September 28th, 2018. Happy Friday. We made it to the weekend. There we go. That's how it used to be on the weekends around here. Uh, we could have talked about more Bowsette today. Um, other than that, there wasn't really any big news, whether you consider big news uh, Bowsette or not. But we're going to talk about one that popped up yesterday, but people are still talking about it today, and we're going to speculate from now until December. So uh, why not talk about it in this video? Jeff Keighley, who does the uh, Game Awards each year, it's his show, he puts it on. Um, he's worked with Nintendo in the past before, and they've showcased some things at the Game Awards in, uh, at previous events. And it seems like, at the very least, Nintendo is going to be a part of the upcoming Game Awards this year, which again take place in December. Jeff Keighley took this picture and put it up on Twitter. It's him and Reggie fils from Nintendo, as well as Wolfgang Puck, that is not the guy from Ubisoft, with which many people thought it was. They're talking about E. Gimo, the, uh, I don't know what he is over there, the head honcho over at Ubisoft. He's as high up as it goes. Um, that is not E. Gimo, that is Wolfgang Puck, the chef. So, <laughs> pretty sure he has nothing to do with the picture. We're looking at Reggie and we're looking at Jeff here. Uh, Jeff posted this on Twitter along with the message that said, See you in December, so obviously teasing the Game Awards. And with Reggie being there, obviously there's going to be speculation about Nintendo. And then people zeroed in on Reggie's shirt. And yes, Reggie is wearing a shirt that has a Metroid reference on it. So everybody's like, that's it? Game Awards, Metroid Prime 4, we're going to get the debut trailer. I mean, it's pretty sad speculation to me. Nintendo knows that their fans pick apart this stuff like crazy. Jeff definitely knows that people are going to look at this picture and speculate and try and figure out what's going on. There's no surprise here. Reggie's going to know that when people see that Metroid shirt, they're going to think about uh, potential, uh, potentially a Metroid thing related at the Game Awards. Um, he's worn pins on his shirts or his suit jackets before that people have speculated upon. He's talked about that speculation before, so everybody here, <laughs> minus Wolfgang Puck, is keenly aware that there's going to be a lot of speculation drawn in uh, with this picture. So I really don't think it's all that crazy to think that, yes, there's going to be something Metroid Prime 4 related at the Game Awards this year. Ninja Blaze over on Go Nintendo says, Wolfgang for Smash Confirmed! Everyone's here! Don't think Wolfgang Puck is going to be a part of Smash Brothers Ultimate. Maybe he played Smash Brothers Ultimate. I don't know. Maybe this is some sort of weird tease that uh, involves all three of them. They're all going to be in a game together. I have no idea. But like I said, the main speculation is that this is Metroid related. At the very least, I think it's a very clear tease that Nintendo is going to have something at the Game Awards. It seems like with each passing year, Nintendo gets more involved with the Game Awards and has reveals and stuff like that there. So it's no surprise to see that relationship continuing because the Game Awards gets bigger as far as viewership goes every year. So why wouldn't they want to be a part of that? Then on top of all that, the Switch is doing really well. They want to continue to uh, fuel excitement for that. And Game Awards is the quote-unquote hardcore gamer show. So if Nintendo wants to reach that more traditional hardcore audience, Metroid is a wonderful title to showcase at that event. So, like I said, everything fits in with me. I think the speculation makes sense, and I think at the very least we're going to see something Nintendo-related at the Game Awards. December's not too far off, so we don't have to wait too long to see what happens. But, until then, if you can come up with any other theories that make sense, <laughs> let me know. Alright my friends, that's today's big story for September 28th, 2018. Thanks for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. It's very much appreciated. I won't be back tomorrow because it's Saturday, but I'll be back with a podcast. So if you want to come watch the Go Nintendo podcast, that is live at 3, that records live at 3.15 p.m. East Coast time. If you can't catch us live, you can catch the archived version later that day. But if that's not your thing, then uh, hang out with friends and family, have some fun, take a break, play some games, rest, relax, you deserve it. It's the weekend. And we'll see you on Monday, or in a few short hours. Hey guys, RMC here from Go Nintendo. If you like what you saw in the video, why don't you give us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribe? We'd love to have you. 
If you want to see what else we're up to, you can check out GoNintendo.com for 24-hour Nintendo news. You can visit us on Facebook at Facebook.com slash GoNintendo. You can check us out on Twitter at Twitter.com slash GoNintendoTweet. And we're even over on Instagram at Instagram.com slash GoNintendo. I put all the links in the description just to make it easier for you guys to follow. Thanks a lot.